Hi, Just Josh here. And I go by Just Josh in this space because I'm intentionally not Executive Director Josh or Pastor Josh or Friend Josh or Husband Josh or Father Josh. I really am just trying to overflow some of the things that come from who I am apart from all of those titles and roles. So one of the ways I do that is by sharing my journal with you. I don't know about you, but there are times where I show up to myself and I realize I'm feeling some kind of way, but I'm not sure what I'm feeling. I want to share with you today what I do when I know I'm feeling something, but I don't know what it is. So a few days ago, I was sitting in my office. My wife came down and asked me, how are you feeling? And I honestly didn't know what to tell her. I knew I was feeling something but I couldn't tell what it was. And so I did what I often do in situations like that. I pulled out my journal and I just began to write. I filled up the page, I put the pen to the paper and I didn't stop. Whatever came to my mind, whatever came to my heart, it came out through the pen onto the page. I wrote down the page once, I wrote back down the page a second time. The text began to cover itself up but the words began to free up some of the things that I was thinking and feeling inside. And at the end of about 20 minutes of writing, I just sat and I reflected on what had come up for me as I put pen to page. And what came up for me was this idea of grief. It actually surprised me. I wasn't expecting to feel grief. I had no concept that I was feeling grief. Um, but I was actually grieving something from 20 years ago a decision that Jennifer and I made together and the way that decision played out and I was grieving that. I was realizing in myself that I haven't given myself a lot of space to grieve in my life and as I sat in my grief after pouring it out on the page I sensed God saying to me this, Josh it's good for you to grieve. It does not deny the good. To grieve is not to deny the goodness of God, but to affirm it. I think for most of my life, if a decision was made and, uh, and there were some parts of it that were sad or needed to be grieved within me, instead, I wanted to focus on the goodness of God and so I was always looking for the positive. And I was speaking about the positive and I was in search of the positive and I was spinning everything to the positive, but I was not also grieving. I believe I can do both. And I believe that's what God is calling to me to in this season. Later that week, as I was reading the book Prophetic Imagination by Walter Brueggemann, this quote really stuck out to me. It says, Grief is the most visceral announcement that something is not right. And another quote, Real criticism begins with capacity to grieve. A couple of things I want to point out to you. One, just get the words out. You can always sharpie over them afterwards. You can always rip the paper out and burn it. Or you can write over top. This is actually my favorite thing because the words are still there, but I went back and I can't read them. Um, I tried to, to remember some of the things that I was processing that day. But you know what? The thing that mattered the most is what I wrote in the margin. Josh, it's good for you to grieve. To grieve is not to deny the goodness of God, but to affirm it. That's what I want to remember, and that's indeed what I'm left with. Um, so you can write words on top of words, but get the words out. That's number one. Two, whatever surfaces for you, find a way to lean into that. So I've actually created a couple of other pages in my journal about some specific things that I'm grieving. And on the page, when I sit down and take time to add words or images to the page, it's a part of my grief process. I'm actually grieving a number of things right now. Um, I watched the presidential debate last um, week and I'm grieving. Um, that's the overwhelming emotion. I have this real deep sense inside my heart that we all lost. Biden lost, Trump lost, the moderator lost, all of us as Americans and all of us as humans lost something as I reflected on that debate. Um, I'm grieving the loss of my violin. It's been with me for 32 years. I'm a trusted companion and a friend. Got a complicated relationship with my violin, I'm realizing as I'm grieving it, but 
it's no longer intact and not, not able to serve me. Maybe more about that in another video. Um, I'm grieving some of the realities of COVID and the distance that keeps us apart in these days. But there's a list, and so I'm making space for that in my journal. I want to encourage you to show up to yourself, even if you don't know what you're thinking or feeling. Give yourself some space. Give yourself some time. Do your best to put what it is you're thinking and feeling into words or images or colors on a page. And bring that before God. Bring your whole self before God. Not just the good and the pretty and the beautiful parts, but all of you. May all that is within me bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me bless his holy name. It's just Josh signing off. Check me out on Patreon. I've got a lot of amazing things going on over there. Some new original music I'm releasing, some audio prayer guides, um, some prayer videos, some prompts, all kinds of things to help you engage with God in creative ways. I'd love to have you join me.